Hi, I'm Snigth. I teach digital art. So let's dive into rigging objects in Maya and get started with pistons. So this is going to be our piston and uh, let's examine the pivot points. So this is going to be the piston rod and this is the pivot. That's the upper part. Okay, so I think all of this looks good. Let's switch to the front view and uh, Let's zoom out and get into the wireframe mode and let's isolate the piston rod. Holding down spacebar to activate the hotbox control and from here you can actually access whole of the Maya and we'll just go to the skeleton menu and click on create joints and click here and here to create these joints okay let's uh, pull this up to the right point and I think it's pretty good to go now essentially what we'll be doing is We'll be tying these uh, joints with the help of uh, what we call IK handles and then in turn again I'm going to tie those IK handles with the help of locators. So first of all let's just make this a child of the crankshaft which is going to help us basically rotate with the crankshaft just like that now it's time to add a IK also known as inverse kinematics click here and then click here so that's our IK handle I'll pull this up no not in the side view here So essentially this IK handle is the one which we are going to tie down and because of this IK handle you can see that the joint is being oriented and it is facing in the Y direction irrespective of the fact that the joint is actually moving along with the crankshaft. So we'll add a locator here and with these locators basically we are going to tie them down. I'll hold down V to snap it to the point and the IK handle is going to be a child of this locator which is going to essentially make it stay in the same place just like that so now if you notice uh, the joint is going out of the vertical section which is something that we don't want So I'm going to duplicate the locator and bring it down here 
and again snap it to the point. And I'll just find this in the outliner. I think that's an extra one. So I'll duplicate the locator and then snap it back. So that's my locator too. I'll delete this handle. And now I'll make it a child of crankshaft so that the locator also starts rotating with the rod or with the joint rather. And now I'll just constrain this to the locator using a point constraint. So I'll go to rigging, constraint, point constraint. Y axis. see that it's going to be moving in the same uh, y-axis just up and down movement. So now it's just a matter of connecting the piston rod with the whole system that we've just rigged. So it doesn't want to select. Okay. So I'll just select the piston rod and make it a child of joint 1. Now I'll select the upper part. Reach out to that joint, which is the upper joint, should be joint 1. And then constrain it to this upper part, which is piston B, using a point constraint. that it keeps it moving in the vertical axis which is y axis. 